What it do? Bedtime crew, hey man, listen, today I am here to give my reaction. You know, something, something, just, something crazy just happened, guys. Bilal Muhammad just dominated Leon Edwards in the wrestling in round one and two. Just beat him on UK soil in the striking, in the grappling, in the wrestling. And if only there was somebody out there that said, you know what? I stand with Bilal Muhammad. I believe in Bilal Muhammad. I picked Leon Edwards by decision, but I knew Bilal Muhammad had the chance. I knew Bilal Muhammad could do this. And I feel like I was the only single person out there saying, you know what? Bilal Muhammad might get this done. Bilal Muhammad could get this done. Bilal Muhammad will get this done. When I was on my live stream watching it, thank you everybody that came to that. I was saying on the walkout, he's going to have hands like Canelo. He's going to wrestle like Khabib. He's going to beat him in the striking, in the grappling, in the wrestling. And he actually just fucking did it. In the UK, against Leon Edwards, who supposedly levels above him. And I hate to be that guy that says, I told you so. But I fucking told you so, dude. And it is crazy to see that Bilal Muhammad is now the welterweight champion. I mean, obviously, we know that Shavkat Rachmanov is probably next for him. Listen, Bilal, I got you this far, bro. I don't know if I can help you against Shavkat. But listen, dude, I'm just so happy to see this, man. And it's just... It's not even a thing of preying on Leon Edwards' downfall, even though I, I'm really happy to see his glazing, you know, borderline attracted to Leon Edwards' fan base, just acting like this guy's the greatest fighter to ever walk the fucking earth. This guy dominates Islam, Markership. Dude, he makes Bilal Muhammad look silly. Bilal Muhammad got absolutely destroyed in that last fight. He has no chance. I love seeing people like that get proved wrong, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's one thing to pick a fighter and get it wrong. It's another thing to completely just shit on the other guy. Even though he's on an unbeaten streak, he's beat top contenders, been on a better run to get a title shot than Leon Edwards went on. That's a fact, right? Leon Edwards beat Gunnar Nelson and fucking Nate Diaz to get a title shot. Bilal Muhammad had to beat fucking Damian Maia, Vicente Luque, Gilbert Burns, Stephen Thompson. All of these are better wins. And people gave him no respect. So I just want to say shout out to Bilal Muhammad. Respects to Bilal Muhammad for pulling that off. Great job using his boxing. The uppercut was really nice. I wasn't expecting that to be there for him as much. I thought his straight punches would do well. He used his jab pretty well. The body kick was something I thought he'd go to a little bit more, but he, he was able to find it a few times. But man, when he put on the wrestling, I, I knew that Leon Edwards would be hard to take down, but I thought Bilal Muhammad would be, would be able to take him down. I did not expect like 10 takedowns. What did he get? Nine takedowns. He almost, oh man, if he missed two more takedowns, that would have been bad. But he went nine for 13 on takedowns, bro. He went 9 for 13 on takedowns. Leon Edwards was able to take down Bilal Muhammad a few times. I will admit I was wrong about that. Great grappling from Leon Edwards in the third round. But he did look sluggish. He did look a bit slow. I'm sure Dana White is on the post-fight presser right now. Absolutely coping his fucking ass off. What's the question? Did Leon look bad? Listen, listen, Dana. D D Leon, Leon, what's his name? Leon? Leon looked bone dry tonight. Leon looked slow. He looked sluggish. We're never coming back to the UK again. You know Dana White is going fucking... <laughs> Dana White's up in the switch, bro. Bilal Muhammad just won the fight. Tom Aspinall just won by KO as well. Uh, I'm really sad that Curtis Blades lost, but I'm I am glad that it wasn't like a brutal finish. Like I I think it was a warranted stoppage in the moment. I thought it was a bit early. I'm not gonna lie, people that were there in the stream they saw my reaction. I thought it was a bit early in the moment because Blades got straight back up and he seemed fine. Like he protested a little bit, but more than anything, he just got up and was walking around fine. Which you know he wasn't after the Pavlovich KO. Pavlovich wasn't like that after jo uh, Aspinall caught him. So in some regards, it looked early, but also it was like 13 unanswered strikes on the ground and he was trapped under Aspinall's leg. So I do understand why that finish happened. I'm not mad at the stoppage. I was in the moment, obviously, because that's my boy, Curtis Blades. Um, but he'll be back, man. You know, it, it was kind of like an off-balance punch. It wasn't like a, oh, fuck, he just got chinned badly. That would have been, bro, you would have heard a legendary rant if Curtis Blades got absolutely chinned, bro. Like if Curtis Blades got put on CTE Society, bro, Close the schools, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm up in the switch, bro. I'm not. <laughs> bro, I'm fucking going crazy, dude. But, you know, it's sad to see him lose, but I am looking forward to Tom Aspinall versus John Jones. I'm going to talk about all the matchups that need to be made in my video tomorrow about fights to make. This is just about recapping the card, basking in the victory that we just went on, boys. I went fucking 10 and 4 on picks. Unfortunately, I got the main event wrong. I'm really sad that Bilal Muhammad won the fucking belt and mugged Leon Edwards. And beat Leon Edwards in front of his stupid fucking brother and his coach. Get fucked. My voice is fucking disappearing. Just like Leon Edwards' belt just disappeared. Nah, listen, bro. Respects to Leon Edwards. It's no biggie, dude. But yeah, I'm just so happy Bilal fucking won after all the beef, all the shit talk, all the years of people telling me I was delusional for saying, you know what, Bilal Muhammad actually could actually beat Leon Edwards. They're actually not that different. They're actually pretty similar, right? 
all the fucking years of the channel, people laughing at me being a Bilal. Why are you a Bilal fan? Why are you a Bilal fan? This guy sucks. Why are you picking Bilal? Dude, your boy's getting smoked. Hello? What now? You know, and speaking of which, Patty Pimblet. I picked Patty Pimblet. All right? Now, I'm going to be real. I thought Patty Pimblet was going to win by decision. Bobby Green is a pretty tough matchup for him. I'm, I think if he didn't go to the wrestling, which was incredibly stupid, would have been a very much uh, different fight, in my opinion. Um, but Paddy Pimmel looked fucking good, dude. He looked really good. He was avoiding a lot of big shots from Bobby Green. Good leg kicks. Got on the got on the armbar. Switched it to a triangle. Oh no, he was on the guillotine. Excuse me, on the on the takedown. Switched it to the triangle. Right. Sorry. And added in the armbar. I think he broke his arm and he tapped him out, like put him to sleep. Just a crazy fucking win from Paddy Pimblet, guys. I said, okay, I'm trying not to be really annoying, but dude, did I not say that Benoit Saint Denis and Paddy Pimblet they're not that far apart? I feel like people would pick fucking Benoit to do that, but I don't know if he would. And I just saw Paddy Pimblet do it. So Paddy Pimblet's now going to be ranked once again in about a couple of months when he gets another fight booked. Oh, dude, Paddy Pimblet fucking sucks, dude. He fought a washed up Bobby Green, dude. It's not even that good. He's probably going to get demolished by Hanato Moikano. Then he has a close fight with him. Maybe he loses that. I could see that. But I think, he, I think he's a lot better than people give him credit for. I still don't think he'll ever be a champion. I think he'll be ranked number 10 at best. But this proved my point that First of all, Paddy Pimble is not that bad. And I don't think Bobby Green is this highly ranked, oh my god, this guy's a fucking animal. You know what I mean, dude? Like, I, I think we just, we just saw that, the level of both of these guys. So yeah, good performance for Paddy Pimble. Really big stage for it, to do, for it as well. I mean, the main event was kind of people were like, oh, kind of interested. Co-main event, people were kind of interested. I think Paddy Pimble got a lot of hype from a win like that, or he should at least. Um, Obama beat up Christian Leroy Duncan. have no idea why I picked this fucking guy. Arnold Allen. Um, yeah, you know, um, yeah, you know, I think I want to fight, you know, I pressured him a bit, um, you know, uh, it's a bit more aggressive, um, get him to the body a bit, you know, um, yeah, you know, it's all right. Good performance from Arnold Allen, nothing really to talk about. Um, I'll probably talk about him more tomorrow. It's not really much else to say on this card, bro. Like, the prelims, the early prelims were fucking fire. They were good. We, uh, we swept the early prelims. I'm happy with that. And the only other fight really worth talking about, I mean, Bruno Brazil, call me, please. Um, but Mohamed Makayev, Manel Cup. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? That's actually all I have to say now. The rest of the card I was happy with, right? Obviously, I didn't want to see Blades lose, but it, again, it wasn't a bad loss. I'm not too bothered by it. You know, he'll be fine. He'll be back. Um, he'll be back soon, I'm sure. Aspinall versus Jones is a big fight. Makayev and Cup. I was so fucking excited for this matchup. They're trying to fight each other before the fight even starts. I'm going, oh, this is going to be good, dude. The second the bell rings, they run at each other like full speed and then start fainting at range. Just, just, just fainting at range. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? So, yeah, Muhammad Makayev, Manel Cup, shambolic fight, absolute disgrace, complete abomination to the sport. Just a joke. Muhammad Makayev's probably going to get cut from the UFC. I can weirdly see that happening. Manel Cup also deserved to lose. He threw absolutely fucking nothing except for the last 10 seconds of every round. And people thought he won. You know what I mean? It's just, it is what it is, dude. I, I don't think Manel Cup won that fight. I don't think he deserved to win it. Do I think Muhammad Makayev clearly won either? Not really, but I knew he won that fight when the decision got read because. He had more than 10 seconds of success at a time. He got, he got that takedown in round uh, three, I believe. He got a takedown attempt, had to fight off the ghillie, but then got on top a little bit. Um, he was landing good kicks in round one. Manel Cup had no success in round one except for the ending of the round. Uh, round two, I think Cup won that, and I thought round three was pretty close. I gave it to Muhammad Makayev. Not a robbery in my opinion. Very close, terrible, boring, sport-killing fight. That's really all that needs to be said to describe this shit. Um, yeah, really disappointment. Muhammad Makai is probably going to get shipped to fucking PFL. Let's be real here, dude. Um, but other than that, man, I don't really have much else to say, bro. Like, the prelims were what they were. The main event just... Oh, my God. Allow Muhammad's the champion, bro. I'm so happy, bro. I'm so happy we're living in the fucking timeline where Bilal Muhammad just picked up Leon Edwards, dunked him on his head. You know, while he was... I, I remember I picked him up, dunked him. Bro, 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 shut up, dude. You're a bum, bro. You're a bum. He was right. Bala Muhammad, dude, Bala Muhammad performed better than Kamaru Usman and Colby Covington. Maybe Bilal is second behind GSP. Maybe he is the second greatest welterweight of all time. I'm obviously kidding, but at 36 years old with the 35-year-old curse on enemy soil against top three pound-for-pound -pound fighter Leon Edwards, who people are saying could beat Islam, Markashev, Shavkat, Rachmanov. I thought he beat Shavkat. I didn't think he'd beat Islam, though. Um, dude. Bilal Muhammad is going to be top five pound for pound after this, man. So, yeah, shout out to Bilal Muhammad. Incredible win. I'm really sorry that Curtis Blades lost. I hope that he's doing okay. Um, yeah, boys.
Thank you for everybody that came to the stream as well, came back to the videos to support as well when I said I believe in Bilal Muhammad. But yeah, all in all, good card. Great performances from uh, Bilal Muhammad. Leon Edwards had moments. I was really worried every time Bilal Muhammad took him down because of his ability to reverse positions. I was always aware that Leon Edwards as a grappler, he can reverse a position really quickly. He can always put you back in danger. Colby Covington, he did it too. Kamara Usman, he did it too a couple of times. I'm impressed that he took down Bilal. I'm pretty sure they'll do a rematch. I, don't, I didn't really get to watch full of the post-fight uh, speeches or interviews or whatever. I didn't see if they had a lot of beef or if they squashed it. I was kind of doing like my face reveal on the stream. Uh, chat called me a goblin. I really appreciate that, guys. They said I look like JDM and Shavkat combined. Don't know how that's possible, but it is. I'll take it, I guess. Um, but yeah, dude, th this is my immediate reaction to UFC 304. All in all, my final conclusions, stop doubting Bilal Muhammad. He's probably going to lose to Shavkat, but he fucking earned this. And I'm so glad that I believed in him on the way up. I've, I've been saying it for fucking like a year and a bit that he beats Gilbert Burns and that he could beat Leon Edwards and that he could be the welterweight champion, that people make him out to be this terrible fighter when he's on a huge fucking win streak. He deserves credit. He deserves respect. Um, I'm looking forward to Aspinall versus Jones. I think that's going to be a great fight. A really interesting matchup, especially considering he was pretty much flawless against Curtis Blades. Blades had some decent moments in the boxing, but it was such a short fight that, you know, you can't take much away from it for him. Uh, I just hope he bounces back well. He probably will, because um, it was a slightly early stoppage, but good enough of a stoppage to where I know Aspinall won, but I also know Blades is not going to get fucked up by it. You know what I mean? So that's my thoughts on the fights, boys. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you guys think of the card? Rated out of 10, I'm probably going to say like a 7 out of 10, just based on my personal, you know, experience of Bilal Muhammad winning the belt. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys drop your comments in the, in, down below. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel, man. And uh, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BedtimeMMA. We did get bingo as well. I'll put that on the screen right now. We did get a bingo, boys. So yeah, huge fucking card for the Bedtime Army. Bilal Muhammad's the champ. I'm putting the belt on him in the fucking picture over here in the little corner, dude. Best editor on YouTube. Look out for that next video. Love you guys. See you in the next video, man. Goodbye.